want somebody to go through this, especially that young, that I want to like at least help out a little bit for these poor kids. They say a suspected DUI driver killed this innocent Westmoreland County mom. Her husband is now in a wheelchair and dealing with head and spinal injuries, and it all now falls on their two sons. Channel 11's Melanie Gillespie shows us how the community is rallying around them and what you can do to help. You can see behind me, this is a pretty busy and a very curvy section of Route 136 in Hempfield Township where this accident happened. A mom and wife killed in this crash, her husband critically injured. Now the community is coming together to help this family devastated by this tragedy. It can be your parents too and like that would just be tragic for you to go through and like just seeing like him going through this is heartbreaking for us because we're like a family. Co-workers of the Ward Zach's youngest son are just one of many hoping to spread the word about fundraising efforts to help the family rocked by an unimaginable tragedy last week. We're all really close working together and it's like one big family. Mm -hmm. So of course we want to like support each other and have each other's back. I would never want somebody to go through this, especially that young, that I want to like at least help out a little bit for these poor kids. Mom and wife Joanne Ward Mordezak was killed, her husband badly hurt, when another vehicle crossed the center line and hit their car last Friday here on Route 136 in Hempfield Township, right near the school bus garage. Police say the person who hit them, suspected of driving under the influence, was taken to the hospital. No charges have been filed as of yet. But tonight, Joanne is being remembered for her lively personality and love for her family. She had a very special bond with her family. She also enjoyed horseback riding a lot. They had chickens. Um, she had a very vibrant personality and was just like a great person to be around. As the Ward is Act's work toward healing, friends of the family are spreading the word to try to help alleviate some of the monetary burden the family will be feeling. They have to take care of their whole house, being two young adults, um, funeral arrangements for the mother, and then the father, they have to redo things for the house so that he can get around being in a wheelchair and just, just like medical bills, yeah, medical bills, daily needs. The whole community is coming together and even if it's like $20 that they donate, every little bit like adds up and helps. And that GoFundMe account has already raised close to $5,000 for the family, but if you'd like to contribute and help them, we'll have a link to that on our website, WPXI.com. Reporting in Hemfield Township, I'm Melanie Gillespie for Channel 11 News.